Welcome back to the Odyssey. I am Mike Odyssey. Guys, in today's video, we're talking about the Nintendo Switch 2. We have some major updates that were made available through a podcast in Spanish. I'll take the main topics, the better points, and bring them to you today. And of course, April and the supposed Nintendo Direct. Is it still happening? And is it credible enough for us to get hyped about it? We'll talk about it in this video. If you are new here, Watch this clip. If not, you can use the timestamps below to skip through to the main topic. Let's get started. Before we get into this video, I would love to ask for your subscription, but not just ask, I will put in the work for you because here we have Monday to Friday news every single day, Odyssey news, where we talk about everything inside the world of Nintendo. We have products and we have reviews. And other than that, in the personal side, I am a big advocate for disabilities because I myself am legally blind. My daughter has autism, so I am a big advocate for disabilities and people with autism as well. So if this sounds like a place you would love to subscribe to, I would love for you to be part of the family. Hit that subscribe button and that bell for notification and join our amazing family here at the Odyssey. Thank you in advance for your subscription and let's get into the news. All right, so I'm here on uh, Twitter or X. I call it Twix here. You can follow me at Mike Odyssey YT. If you are on the platform, and here we have a couple of notes that I took during the podcast on the leaker Nash Weedle and the Nintendo Switch 2, which took place on Behind the Games podcast. It's a Spanish podcast dedicated to Nintendo, so let's go ahead and go over it. Of course, number one, Nash Weedle leaks. Dev kits updates. Basically, uh, over the past couple of weeks, it was leaked that the developer... Um, kits, the dev kits that developers were using to develop for, for Switch 2, they received an update that will make their games better. They will increase their resolution. And so this information was, was basically given, given to us by Nash Weedle. He heard from developers that a DLSS update was provided to the actual um, dev kit for the Switch 2. And while it doesn't really help their development process, it just was made available so that developers could see how this their new updates will take place. Now, what is good about this? This means that Nintendo can actually make your games look better with updates because this is what it, it's all about. It's about AI upscaling, AI software rather than hardware to make your games look better. And so Nintendo actually offered one of those updates to developers to maybe to test their ability to upscale using AI, and so that's the first leak here. It's good news because it looks like Nintendo is actually following through on some patents we discovered as well. The next one is a delay could be related to AR and VR feature. It looks like Nintendo was was, in, was planning to include a camera into their, maybe the, the, the system or the, the handheld or the controllers, and this feature was removed. So it looks like we're not getting AR, VR right now as of the, launch edition of the Nintendo Switch 2 and it could actually come in a mid-gen update. For example, if Nintendo does give us an LED screen, then we'll get that, um, you know, with that feature, the AR VR feature. So this could have been a possible delay, but it looks like the AR VR feature was removed from the Switch 2. The other reason could be that Nintendo is planning on actually doing an OLED screen because they he, they heard that they are going to be issuing a Nintendo Switch 2 with an OLED screen. Now, whether this is going to be the launch edition or the mid-gen model, um, they, they uh, the leaker does not know that yet, but they are um, you know planning on releasing an OLED screen. This could be another reason why the Nintendo Switch 2 plans for launch were delayed, not the actual launch date because no launch date was announced, but the plans were just pushed back a little bit, right? Uh, now let's, say, well, let's go to the next one. Backwards compatibility will be heavily marketed physically and digitally. Basically, uh, this uh, him confirming that part of the, the marketing for the Switch 2 will be backwards compatibility and bringing your entire Nintendo Switch library, both physical and digital, over to the Nintendo Switch. Um, again, this is a credible leaker. He's, he's got information good in the past. And so right now we have another, another assumption here that backwards compatibility. First, it will be a thing for Switch 2. Second, it'll be heavily marketed. 
uh, at, you know, for Nintendo Switch 2, both physically and digitally. So if you are in that field that you, you want to make sure your games are coming to Nintendo Switch 2 with you, then this can give you a little bit of breathing room, breathing air, to know that this there is a possibility out there that the Switch 2 will be backwards compatible with Switch, with Switch 1. The next one, he mentioned that two types of upgrades when it comes to how games look and perform, right? The first upgrade will be via software, which is the DLSS, and Nintendo updates via the software. The other upgrade will be via hardware, meaning what developers, you know, do using the actual capability of the actual hardware. The Nintendo Switch hardware is capable of producing, uh, uh, you know, a better resolution, better performance. And so there are two types of updates. Um, there's the, the software one, DLSS, uh, digital upscaling, AI upscaling, and how the games look raw. Like when you put the game in, right? And how the developer uh, made it to look, that is the first kind of update when it comes to the visuals. The second update in the visual, visuals will come via AI upscaling. Now, this is good news to me, right? It, it looks like there's gonna be more than one way Nintendo can make their games look even better. The developers themselves have to really develop their games with that type of resolution, the upscaling, the 4K resolution, all, all, all of that stuff, right? But then there's gonna be a second part to that, which is the AI upscaling, the, the, the first basically update, which we covered earlier in this video about the updates coming through to the dev kits. So that's gonna be a, a really good thing. It, it looks like Nintendo is trying to bring the quality of their games to a higher level, right? Rather than just using hardware, they're also using uh, software to do this. All right, and let's go on to number seven. Uh, he heard of that. He heard that Star Wars, uh, the Star Wars dev studio from Disney, is was very interested in Switch Two. And when when they talk about their interest, is most likely being part of the launch games available on Switch Two. So if you are a Star Wars fan, we heard something about Star Wars being uh, you know invested and interested in Switch Two when it comes to having a launch game available for Switch 2 once it's announced. Number eight, the reason for the LED screen instead of OLED is HDR. It says that the HDR on OLED is a bit harmful since the colors could be too in, in, intense and more prone to burning. So the OLED burning thing where the the OLED kind of like uh, image is kind of burnt into the, into the screen and you can't really use it as well. I believe Bob Wolf from Wolfgang did a, a, a really good um, example of, of, of this burning and how long will it take for a screen to get burning. And he proved that he left his switch on for an entire year and it actually took an entire year to get some burning. So nobody will actually play their switch for an entire year without sleeping or without even turning it off. So you don't have to worry about burning. So I, I on this part of the leak, I'm still a little bit question, questioning this part that the delay could have been due to the LED, the OLED screen, and the fact that HDR will be part of this Nintendo Switch. I don't think HDR, and at least when it comes to the Nintendo Switch, would harm the the OLED screen with with, with burning. So that is just, that was just mentioned there, and I wanted to bring it out there. But me personally, I don't think that HDR will harm the OLED screen when it, and produce it to, you know, be more be more prone to burning. So let's move over to number nine. Our patent was updated on joysticks with haptic, haptic feedback and pressure like the triggers on PS5. So said so Nash asked developers if this feature would make it to the console and uh, was told that they could not speak on it due to NDA. And so in, a, in other words, yes. So basically a patent was discovered where we, we covered on the channel where the joysticks were gonna be completely different from the Switch and they were gonna be some type of haptic feedback that will kind of make the games better, right? You, if you're walking through sand, when you move the joystick, it'll feel like you're walking through sand. If you're swimming, it'll feel like you're swimming. We know when it comes to that haptic feedback on the actual joystick, 
And so that was on the patent, and the patent is real. The patent is a Nintendo, uh, it's not a leak, it's a Nintendo document, it's out there, it's public. And the, while Nash asked one of the developers if this feature would actually make it to the Switch too, because we know that patents, most of them do make it to the actual final product, but some of them don't. And so the developers responded that they can't speak on it because of the NDA. And in a way, it's kind of saying, yes, if we can't speak about it because of the NDA, that means it exists, it's there. So I'm, I'm guessing, yes, it's gonna be there. And so that's good news. Um, another thing is that the Switch controllers will have a new name. They're not Joy-Cons, so it's a new technology, it's a new controller, and that will be heavily marketed. And this could be the potential gimmick for the actual Switch controller. So the, the Switch controllers will not be called Joy-Cons. They have a new name. They'll be a little thicker, uh, more ergonomically uh, favorable to you to be able to, ha to hold it with your hand and not get tired, right? And this new uh, gimmick with the with the joysticks is gonna be very heavily marketed and could be the potential gimmick for the Nintendo Switch 2, right? Every, every, every Nintendo has had some type of a gimmick, right? And so this could be that push for Nintendo Switch 2. It's not what you play, it's how you play it. And so Nintendo is going to be heavily marketing on that. That is everything we have on Nintendo Switch 2. You guys can pause if you want and go over this list again. You can screenshot it if you want as well. And uh, let's go ahead and move over to the next topic, which is the Nintendo Direct. Now, when it comes to the Nintendo Direct, let's go back and, and, and look at where we got this information. And so where we got this information was at the point where we found out that in, the Nintendo Switch 2 might have been delayed till 2025. There was a leaker or a potential leaker from, I think it was Brazil, who basically mentioned, the very first one who mentioned that the Nintendo Switch 2 was going to be pushed back uh, to 2025 we're not talking about a delayed date we're talking about the plans for launch in 2024 delayed to 2025 i know there's a lot of skeptics out there that says but mike we how can you delay something that has not been announced we're not talking about the announcement we're not talking about the date we're talking about the plans for launch in this uh year so there were there were there was never a release date set there was never uh, time said there was only plans to launch the system this year. Nintendo could could have just chosen any day once the plans were in set. But this was the very first leaker who actually mentioned that. And because of the entire other population of leakers, even more credible leakers, confirming this information, that's why we kind of kind of went with the rest of the leaks that this. Uh, potential leaker kind of hinted after the fact that he leaked the part of the Nintendo Switch 2 being delayed. And so after he said that, he went ahead and continued to provide more information. He said that in the month of March, we would be getting a Nintendo uh, Indie Direct Partner Showcase. Not an, a Partner Showcase, but an Indie World Partner Showcase, which is different from the Nintendo Partner Showcase. This uh, indie world will be more focused on small developer companies rather than the bigger ones like sega square enix and stuff like that the partner showcase are more for nintendo partners the indie world is more general for every single developer out there who wants to join and publish their games and show their games for nintendo switch and so they were telling us that we would get that indie world in uh march right right now it is Friday, March 29th. It is very unlikely that we would get any Indie World Showcase today or even tomorrow, Saturday, which is the last day of the month. And so with that said, I, I, I really want to let you guys know, look, yeah, uh, um, th this, this leaker apparently got one thing right, right? Or we don't know yet. They just happened to mention the switch to delay and then a whole bunch of other sources sources we covered in the past with good information that they have gotten correctly collaborated this leaker and said yeah it's true and so that's why 
a lot of content creators just went with the fact that he said that we were getting an indie world in March. That does not seem to be happening. Now, whether it's it, it was changed or pushed to April, nobody knows. But the fact that it's not happening in March anymore just you know raises the alarms. We have to kind of make sure that we get we take everything we hear with the greatest the biggest grain of salt in this case. I would suggest to just using the entire ocean, the entire ocean of salt, throw it out there, you know, because I'm going to tell you this straight up. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be as upfront with you about this. I already don't believe that either an indie world showcase is coming or a Nintendo direct is coming in April. I don't know what Nintendo is doing. Nintendo is off script every single year. We normally get a Nintendo Direct in February, right? This Nintendo Direct in February is mostly completing the year we are currently in, right? In September, Nintendo normally announces games for the beginning of a year. In February, Nintendo announces games for the end of the year, for the second half of the year. This year, Nintendo in, in September of 2023 did not announce any games for the beginning of this year in february we only got games you know first party games until june all right until june and nintendo just shadow dropped on mario day their very last two games regarding um the nintendo switch which was paper mario and luigi's mansion hd and so nintendo is fully off script for this year and that's what we have to be cautious because nintendo at the end they have the last word they can do anything they want and they're doing whatever they want right now we have no clue what's happening the news and when it news when it comes to gaming is very 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 slow it's very very slow there is basically almost no news right and so right now we are in that little moment before the the big storm breaks through before Nintendo Switch 2 is revealed in this little drought, right? And so with that said, guys, I I, I don't think we're getting an April Direct. I hope that I'm wrong. I hope that we do get a Direct in April and we get some games announced for the second half of the year. But it's not looking likely that we are. I hope that everything just got delayed and they're giving, they gave us the, the Indie World Showcase in April and also they gave us the, the Direct in April. Um, you know, also in April, but so far, guys, I I I just want to put it out there. I want to let you guys know that I don't believe that there is an April Nintendo Direct happening. I hope I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong because I, I am looking forward to getting so many other games on Switch, like of course the Paper, um, not Paper Mario, but uh, the Legend of Zelda: Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, Metro Prime Two and Three. You know and other games as well so let me know what you guys think down below in the comments are you looking forward to a potential direct are you still believing that one is coming if not what are you focusing on when it comes to nintendo switch games do you have a backlog that you're concentrating tra trading on are you re re replaying nintendo games that you played in the past let me know i'm really interested in that uh and i'll see you in the next year adventure at the Odyssey. But before I let you go, never give up and journey on. Peace.